extension as farmers, debtors, farmers flew, others go missing as herdsmen invaded their farms. It was gathered that some of the farmers were chased away from their farmland, which the herdsmen took over, while the others were held hostage. According to Punch Metro, some suspected Fulani herdsmen allegedly holding some farmers hostage in Obiaroko, Okwani, local government area of Delta State. It was gathered that some of the farmers were chased away from their farmland, which the herdsmen took over, while the others were held hostage. It was learned that the incident, which occurred on Saturday, had raised tension in the community as the resident gathered on Sunday discussing the fate of the farmers, which had yet to come back home. Residents of the community who spoke to our correspondent said, the tension got, uh, generated by the herdsmen had escalated as they allegedly took over farmland, seized food items from farmers, and held some hostage. It was gathered that vigilantes and youth had stormed the bushes on a rescue mission while residents of Obiaruko called on the relevant authorities to intervene urgently to avert a possible bloodbath. An indigenous of the community who simply identified himself as Uti stated that farmers had refused to return to their farms since on Saturday when the incident occurred. Uti stated the herdsmen held the farmers hostage, drove the Obiaruku people from their farms, and put their cows on their farms to eat up cassava and other crops. You can imagine that. The people are no longer going to their farms. That one I can ascertain. One of the farmers, Mrs. Maria Obinta, said, On my own farmland, the crops have been destroyed by the herders. I am no longer going to the farm to harvest my cassava because cows have eaten up the crops. Yes, some people were held hostage. The chairman of the local government was in Asaba to speak to the commissioner of police about the matter. The chairman said he was consulting with security operatives to know what to do so that the people being held hostage can be released. It is almost getting to a week now. People are no longer going to farms. The herdsmen are heavily armed, so we are afraid. When contacted, the police public relations officer in the state, DSP Daffy Bright, said the report about the incident had not brought to his notice. For now, we are not aware there is nothing like that. If anything like that happens, they should report to the police, he stated. However, the chairman, Okwani Local Government Council, Mr. Possible uh, Ajede, confirmed the incident and said security agents and community leaders were already on top of the situation. Possible frowned on, on the incident, the, of the activities of the herdsmen in the community. He said due to the rapid response of a combined team of the police and local vigilante, Eight persons earlier held hostage by the herdsmen had been rescued, adding, however, that three natives of the town were still being held. The chairman stated, It is painful that you are going to your farm only to meet armed herdsmen with cattle, eating up your entire investment. When we came on board in March, we invited the leaders of the Fulani herdsmen for a meeting, and after that meeting, they appeared to be on a holiday. But we had recently about the hostage and the manners of the herdsmen, so we mobilized our security operatives into the bush. When they saw the operatives, they abandoned the hostages and took to their heels. He said, Deltans must wake up to chase the Monterey's wedding AK-47 out of their indigenous, indigenous land. They are product of the regime. FBI must take the, <laughs> FBI must take their matter seriously and do the needful because these people are all terrorists. 
How manage? Honestly, these Fulani herdsmen are, are getting to their end because very soon they are caught with food in this country. All right, someone said, yeah, herdsmen invaded farms. Just imagine. And you people were comfortable. All right, someone said, you be mumu. How, what do you mean by you people are comfortable? Obiaruko, will you believe after being armed? What can the harmless citizens do? but to run for their lives. That is it. What do you want, what do you expect them to do? They are harmless. You don't expect somebody that does not have any gun to, you know, combat somebody that is grading AK-47. You just have to uh, take to your heels. These are the things we are talking about. The Fulani herdsmen, they continue to do what they are doing. But it seems that the government has just too mute about this. The Fulani herdsmen continue invading people's farmlands. They continue kidnapping people. They continue raping women. And all that. Something have to be done about this. For how long are we going to, you know, go about this? Farmers don't longer go to their farms. How do you want them to feed their families? Now, taking their cattle to, 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 to this poor farmer's farm to feed their cow. Who does that? There are so many grasses in the bush. Why can't they take their, their honestly, the, in fact, I don't, I don't even know what to say because it's really very, very painful that all these things are happening under our watch. We we'll have government, when someone uh, starts challenging them, you see the government reacting and all that. And that is the reason why Nigerians are saying the government are being partial. Yeah. Because they are not doing the needful about the Fulani invaders in people's land and the kidnapping stuff and all that. All this have to stop. If we are singing one unity, one Nigeria, why can't us do the needful and stop all this? Anyway, guys, this Fulani herdsmen issue did not start today. It seems that the federal government have nothing to do about this, but uh, no wahala. Poor man language, we say God day. So guys, I'm going to drop it here. Kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a...